So it's no mystery, everyone knows the Houston area is a very fertile recruiting area. I mean, you have SEC teams like LSU coming in Bay the area for talent every year. How do you plan on utilizing that and making a big impact in the Big 12? Well, we're going to recruit locally as much as we possibly can. I really feel like, uh, you know, my experience going on 33 years as a head coach, it seems like uh, kids are a little happier when they're closer to home. You know, parents are able to come see him play. They're able to go. Like what happened to us, you know, our thoughts and prayers go out to the people in Houston right now. But, you know, we had a bunch of the kids who were able to go back home and kind of take care of business and help their people out because of how close they, that our university is and where they're from. So Houston is going to be a big part of our recruiting, the whole state of Texas. Uh, we're going to go into Louisiana also. It's, uh, you know, I, I was there for eight years at Tulane, know a lot of people over there, but we're really trying to make it uh, every kid that we recruit have it be drivable distance for them. And, you know, as, as I said before, I, I think Houston's got the greatest recruiting in the nation. I just asked this question a minute ago, but you're a Texas team as well. Can you speak on the importance of those in-state rivalries and keeping them alive, even though some of those teams have left the conference now? I think it's huge. Uh, you know, I'm a football historian, probably like all the coaches here in the Big 12 are, and, and uh, I know all the great, you know, matchups and rivalries that there's been in the uh, state of Texas. Uh, obviously, my time at Sam Houston, Blaine, I know an awful lot about these different schools, and I think it's very, very important to keep those rivalries alive.